Thank you, Father Alexander, Father Kelly, Reverend Fathers, any honored guests, and my dear brothers. I have always been Catholic and have been raised in the Catholic faith. I also grew up the most Catholic of any of my friends, which meant that I didn't have many friends. Because who wants to be with the Jesus freak who's going to tell you that what you're doing is wrong? I had a decently good relationship with my parents when I was younger. But then as I got older, I started to notice that my family wasn't perfect. There were a lot of family issues with alcohol abuse and just a dysfunctional family overall. When this started, I started to become independent and very self-sufficient. In sixth grade, I went to my first extreme faith camp, which for those of you who don't know what that is, it's a week-long camp where there's talks and adoration and mass every day, and it's a whole lot of fun, I would recommend. This was the time that God made himself present to me. When the priest was coming around with the monsters, he stopped in front of me, and I had felt a feeling that I had never felt before and never felt since. As best I can explain it, it was heaven. After this experience, I did what any good Catholic would do, and I went home and ignored it and returned to my old, old life. <laughs> That continued for multiple years until 10th grade. God had found me at my lowest this year in 10th grade. And I, I was in the, in the pits of despair. And he came to me and he pointed to the crucifix and said, I did that for you because that's how much I loved you. He then asked me to follow him. That moment, when no one else was there for me, the Lord made his love known, and that gave me joy. I started to enjoy life for the first time in quite a while. I started going to Mass because I wanted to, not just because it was something that I had to do, or else my dad would yell at me. I started my own prayer life not that much different from what we do here on a daily basis. And I even was interested in my faith and wanted to learn more. So by this time, I had been in and out of two relationships, and I was debating on starting a third, um, because of course that's, you know, what I need to do. But my friend, when I told him about this, he said, why don't you go pray about it? That's a great idea. So I went to Eucharistic Adoration that night at my church's Perpetual Adoration Chapel, and I prayed about it. The next morning, I get, I get to school, ready for the day, and he comes up to me and says, so how'd it go? And I said, well, I'm going to seminary. <laughs> see very clearly in that prayer moment is that he had saved my life and then asked me to give it to him. How could I say no? I started to get a devotion to Our Lady, Star of the Sea, because when the waves of life get over you, she will guide us to the manger of Jesus. And that has been tremendously consoling throughout my seminary experience. God has been calling me ever closer to him and to grow into my relationship with him since I've been at seminary. And he has been firmly calling me onward towards priesthood. For his goodness, all I can say is praise be Jesus Christ. Amen.